What if I told you that in the remote mountains of southwestern China, engineers have just completed a bridge so tall it literally towers over most skyscrapers? Imagine a roadway suspended 625 meters, about 2,050 feet, above the canyon floor, higher than many landmark towers, and spanning nearly three kilometers. This is the Huajiang Canyon Bridge in Guizhou Province, China. Costing roughly 9 billion US dollars, or its RMB equivalent. This bridge isn't just a feat of engineering, it's a statement. It claims the title of the world's tallest bridge, undertakes one of China's most ambitious infrastructure projects, and is about to radically change how people live and move in this rugged region. The Huajiang Canyon Bridge is located in Guizhou Province, a mountainous region in southwestern China, known for its steep cliffs, deep valleys, and isolated villages. This area has long struggled with transportation because the rugged landscape makes building roads extremely difficult. Travel between towns often required winding mountain routes that could take hours and were dangerous during rain, fog, or landslides. The government decided to solve this problem by building a bridge across one of the deepest and widest canyons in the region. What makes the Huajiang Canyon Bridge extraordinary is its height. The road deck sits about 625 meters above the canyon floor, making it the tallest bridge in the world based on vertical drop from the deck to the ground. The previous record holder was also in China, but this new bridge surpasses it by a significant margin. This isn't just a local upgrade, it's a global engineering milestone. So why build here? Despite its natural beauty, Guizhou has historically been one of China's less developed provinces because of poor connectivity. Transporting goods, medical supplies, or even traveling to school or work was slow, expensive, and sometimes dangerous. By constructing this bridge, travel time across the canyon will shrink from over an hour to just a few minutes. It's not only about breaking records, it's about connecting people, boosting the economy, and bringing modern development to a region that was once left behind. Building the Huajing Canyon Bridge was not just about connecting two sides of a valley, it was about overcoming nature itself. Construction began in 2022, and from day one, engineers were faced with a monumental challenge. Spanning a canyon over 625 meters deep with strong winds, unstable cliffs, and nearly vertical drops. Traditional construction methods wouldn't work here. Instead, engineers designed a massive suspension bridge, stretching nearly three kilometers in total length with a central span of around 1,400 meters, long enough to cross the entire canyon in a single leap. The main towers, anchored on opposite sides of the canyon, soared to heights of over 260 meters, roughly the height of a 70-story building. These towers carry a web of steel cables, some thick as a person's arm, capable of holding tens of thousands of tons of weight. First, engineers shot steel guide ropes across the canyon using drones and rockets, yes, actual rockets, because cranes couldn't reach. These ropes were then used to pull larger cables across, slowly building the backbone of the bridge. One of the biggest challenges was the land itself. Guizhou's terrain is known for karst landscapes, sharp limestone cliffs, caves, underground rivers, which make it incredibly difficult to find solid ground. Before they could even think about building, teams had to drill deep into the mountains on both sides to locate strong bedrock that could hold the bridge's weight. Once the foundations were secured, work began on assembling the steel deck segments. Each segment weighed dozens of tons and was lifted into place with precise timing to prevent imbalance or swaying caused by canyon winds. Workers operated hundreds of meters above the ground, often in foggy conditions where visibility was low and temperatures could swing drastically between day and night. Safety nets, harnesses, and constant monitoring systems were used to ensure the safety of workers in this high-risk environment. To make sure the bridge can survive for decades, engineers also installed advanced monitoring technology inside the cables and roadway. These systems constantly measure stress, temperature changes, vibration from traffic, wind pressure, and even seismic activity. If anything unusual happens, a cable shifts, strong winds hit, or an earthquake tremor occurs, alerts are sent immediately to control centers. Before opening, the bridge went through extreme load tests. In one test, nearly 100 heavy trucks were parked along the deck to simulate real-world pressure, 
and the bridge successfully handled the weight without strain or damage. All of this shows that the Huajian Canyon Bridge is much more than a road. It is a perfectly calculated, highly monitored machine built to survive harsh natural forces while carrying thousands of vehicles every day. It represents some of the most advanced engineering techniques in the world and proves how far human innovation can go when nature stands in the way. The Huajian Canyon Bridge is not just an engineering masterpiece. It is a lifeline that promises to transform the lives of millions of people in Guizhou province and beyond. This region of China has always been known for its breathtaking mountains, but it has also been known for its poverty and isolation. Small towns and villages are tucked between steep hills and deep valleys, connected only by winding mountain roads that take hours to travel and are dangerous during bad weather. For decades, this isolation has slowed progress. Farmers struggled to sell their produce outside local markets. Industries avoided the area due to difficult logistics, and even basic services like healthcare and education were harder to access. The Huajian Canyon Bridge changes this reality overnight. What once took one to two hours of navigating sharp cliffs and unreliable roads can now be crossed in just a few minutes, opening the door to faster travel, safer commutes, and easier trade. Economically, the bridge is expected to become a major catalyst for growth throughout Guizhou. It is part of a larger expressway project linking Liuji and Anlong counties, which will connect smaller towns to larger cities and national trade routes. This means goods like coal, agricultural products, textiles, and manufactured items can be transported more efficiently across provinces. Transportation costs will drop, businesses will find it easier to set up operations, and supply chains will move faster. Local farmers, who previously sold crops only in nearby markets because of transport costs, will now be able to reach bigger cities and earn more income. Tourism is also expected to explode. Guizhou is famous for its natural landscapes, waterfalls, caves, terraced rice fields, and ethnic minority culture. But tourists often avoided it due to poor accessibility. Now with the world's tallest bridge becoming an attraction itself, hotels, restaurants, tour companies, and local shops are preparing for a surge in visitors. This brings more jobs, more money, and more global attention to a region that has often been overlooked. Socially, the bridge has deeper effects than just travel time. Better connectivity means better access to hospitals, universities, and government services. Students who once spent hours traveling to school from remote villages will have shorter, safer journeys. Ambulances and emergency services can now reach rural communities much faster, a difference that can literally save lives. Families divided by long-distance travel will find it easier to stay connected. It also helps the government carry out its long-term goal, reducing poverty by building infrastructure first, then attracting investment and improving living standards. However, like every massive project, it comes with concerns. Some critics question whether the high cost will deliver equal benefits and whether maintaining such a tall and complex bridge will become a financial burden in the future. Others worry about environmental impact as construction in deep canyons affects wildlife and ecosystems. Yet, for many people living in Guizhou, the benefits are real and immediate. For them, this bridge is not just a shortcut across a canyon, it's a bridge to opportunity, modern life, and a better future. The Huajian Canyon Bridge is estimated to cost around $9 billion, making it one of the most expensive bridge projects in China's history. Most of the funding comes from the Chinese government and provincial authorities. As part of their national strategy to boost infrastructure in less developed areas, developed regions like Guizhou. But with such a high price tag, the project hasn't escaped criticism. Some argue that the money could have been spent on healthcare, education, or rural development instead. Environmentalists worry about the impact on the canyon's fragile ecosystem, including the displacement of wildlife and changes to natural landscapes. There are also concerns about the long-term maintenance cost. Keeping a bridge this tall safe from wind, erosion, earthquakes, and constant traffic will require ongoing investment. Still, supporters believe the economic boost, tourism, and long-term connectivity far outweigh the risks. At its core, the Huajian Canyon Bridge is more than steel, cables, and concrete. It's a symbol of ambition. China didn't just build the world's tallest bridge, it built a pathway for millions of people to access better roads, 
better jobs, and better opportunities. From cutting travel time drastically to opening up business and tourism, this structure is reshaping an entire region. Yes, it's expensive and controversial, but for many residents of Guizhou, it represents progress, hope, and a future that once felt out of reach. So let me ask you, would you dare to cross the world's tallest bridge? If you enjoyed this story of human engineering and ambition, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and tell me which mega project you want to see next. You want to